Jarrett is right there, just a couple of car lengths behind Ricky Craven. It doesn't look like traffic is going to be an issue before this thing is over. So only got a few laps left to catch him. Three to go when they come to the strike. Three car lengths for Jarrett. Catching him's one thing. Pass wow, he another. really caught him there. Remember, Jarrett got four tires on the last pit stop. Craven just two. What's it going to be? Oh, he is right there. Dale Jarrett trying to sweep at Martinsville on the season. Ricky Craven going for his first NASCAR oh, race. The Craven. Cup win. He's too hard in the hole, but you see Craven get in that corner as hard as he possibly could. One more lap when they come back around. No mistakes, Ricky. White flag is out. Is it going to be Craven with his first win or Jarrett with the sweep at Martinsville? Half a lap to go. Jarrett to the outside. Wow. Bumping, banging into the final corners. No traffic ahead. Craven rides Jarrett up the racetrack. Here they come off the turn. Ricky Craven is a NASCAR and Winston Cup winner. What a finish in Martinsville. for the rest of the lead lap positions. Burton edging Benson. Gordon finishing ninth. Ricky Craven in his 174th start gets his first NASCAR Winston Cup win. A man who was basically out of the sport for about a year and a half after being injured. I'd say his comeback is complete today. Matt? Not only a comeback for Ricky Craven, a comeback for Mike Beam. Wow, two tires. Congratulations. How big is it? Well, it's good. You know, I, you know, I want to thank Todd, you know, and Ken Moore and Ford especially. Goodyear brought a great tire and especially Ricky Craven. You know, he's he's just a great guy. You know, we've become good friends and you don't, you know, it's our own chassis, you know, and <laughs> whenever I took four, and Todd, and it, or when I took two, Todd and him took four. I really gambled on it because I've seen the race win here, and, you know. And then, you know, I'm gonna thank Del Jarrett because he races good. I really appreciate that. And you know, it's good for all our sponsors. Really good for PPI. You know, everybody back to the shop. Thank you so much. And you know, uh, it's just a great. No, I really want to win at Morrinsville for 25 years. I've been coming here forever. When I worked for Butch Lindley, we lost a couple races up here, and so. Uh, I don't know if they give you Grandpa the clock, but I'd like to have one. <laughs> they certainly give those out here in Martinsville. His first win here in 25 years, the first in Ricky Rudd's career. That is the trophy for winning in Martinsville, a grandfather clock. Ricky Craven's got one on order right now. They're going crazy in New England. Newburgh, Maine's Ricky Craven is a NASCAR Winston Cup winner. 174th start, Craven injured badly. Multiple concussions a couple of years ago, had to spend the better part of a year out of the sport, year and a half really trying to rebuild his career. When he and Cal Wells, the owner of this Tide Ride, started talking about Craven coming to work for him, Ricky said, I'll submit to any medical test you want to show you I'm capable of driving this race car. He did it, and Bill, he's done it. Today, he's a winner. Alan, you're exactly right, and this will be a very emotional victory lane. Ricky Craven has already thanked his crew on the radio, and now will be climbing out of the car for the first time as a winner in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. This guy was damaged goods left on the shelf until he proved that he could come back and drive a race car. Now, Ricky Craven is a Winston Cup winner. His entire crew obviously is here. He's already talked to Mike B. Ricky. I know that makes you mad. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh God, the hardest thing is going to be to uh, talk about it. Uh, just countless people that I have to thank. And uh, 
I began racing 1982. I was 15 years old with the dream of winning a Winston Cup race. And by God, we did it today. And you beat Dale Jarrett door to door at the checkers. And I used him up a little, but you know, uh, I knew he expected me to. My first win. And uh, I found comfort with Dale Jarrett, my mirror. And uh, I just prayed the last 20 laps that I had the strength to keep going because uh, we took two tires and it was getting away from me. It's the hardest 20 laps I've ever driven in my life, but I want to tell you, I owe everything to this team. First, Cal Wells for giving me the uh, chance to drive this car. Tied, you know, the greatest group in the world I've ever raced for. They deserve to be in victory lane. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my wife, Riley Everett. You know, there were two years where we were floating around Moosehead Lake and uh, gave little chance of ever getting back to Winston Cup. And my wife said to me one day, she said, tough times don't last, tough people do. And I found inspiration in that. And uh, I just won a Winston Cup race, man. That's awesome. How determined were you to do it, Ricky? I knew when I got this opportunity, it was, uh, it was what I needed to get the win and get back on track. And uh, I'm just so thankful that Larry Hedrick gave me my introduction into Winston Cup racing. And, I got the opportunity of Rick Hendrick, and I thank him for that because uh, I really enjoyed it. And then things didn't go the way I'd hoped. I got beat up, and wow, what a, what a perfect story, though. I mean, the way we uh, we were able to get another opportunity, and I've gone full circle, and I truly believe that uh, I should be driving the Tide car. This this is my car, this is my sponsor, and I'm perfect for for the for the deal. And. I'm just uh, so thankful for everybody that stuck with me, and uh, I want to thank God for giving me the strength, because I'm telling you, I really dug down deep, and uh, thank everybody, everybody along the way that's helped me, and there's so many people, you know, I couldn't recognize all of them, but just uh, thank you all. Just say hello to New England, because you know they're celebrating. Well, you know, in a perfect world, we would have won at New Hampshire, but uh, what a great place for a second win, you know, and uh, the people in New England are, were, were the part of the strength that kept me going, and. You know, here's the good news. I'm only 35 years old, and uh, two years ago that looked old. Right now it's looking pretty young. Congratulations. Thank you, Bill. Ricky Rudd in victory lane at Martinsville. Nice guys can finish first. Marty. Well, what an amazing finish. Del Jarrett beating and banging down to the end. Tell us about the last few laps. Well, it was exciting, and uh, congratulations, first of all, to Ricky Craven and that entire team. He did a great job out there. Exactly what he was supposed to do. I mean, I had four tires, and he only had two. And uh, I could see his car was really loose up off. And, you know, I might have could have pressed the issue down on the bottom. Uh, I could tell he was really protecting that, but I would have had to hit him. And I didn't want that to be the way that uh, we either wrecked or I won. Uh, I wanted to try to pass him and tried him on the outside. And he did what he was supposed to do up there in three. He ran me up high and got me a little bit out of the groove. And that's slick anyway. So uh, he did a fantastic job. That's fun. That's what these uh, the fans have stayed home and watched it. Uh, Thank you for the, the support and the ones that came out here and either called in on a sick day or took a, a day of vacation. Uh, we appreciate the support. You raced Ward Burton really hard on the restart. Did that cost you a lot of time? Well, I was just, I couldn't get going at all. And I was trying to keep Ward behind me because I knew my tires would come in soon. So I really had to, to try to do, uh, to keep him back there. So I was having to be a little more careful than I wanted to be. So Ward was doing what he had to do. Just need a little more time. Good second place finish for Del Jarrett. Believe it or not, only a second top five since his win at New Hampshire in July. All right, Marty, thanks. What a finish between Craven and Jared, and I think Ricky said it all as we look at the leaderboard in victory lane. I just won a Winston Cup race. Oh, that is big. Good job, Ricky Craven. Good talk.